Hey everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to set up a Gnosis Safe multi-sig wallet. A Gnosis Safe is one of the best smart contract multi-sig wallets out there. And this multi-sig structure is really, really useful because it adds an additional layer of security. When you set up your safe, you're going to be prompted to add a bunch of wallets and designate these wallets as owners. When you then have to process a transaction in your safe, you can set the requirement for how many of the owner wallets have to approve the transaction. So for example, if when you create your safe, you designate five wallets as the owners of this multi-sig wallet of this safe, then you can also set the number of wallets which are required to approve a transaction. So if you've got five wallets which are the owners, you can say that if any three of them approve a transaction, then the transaction can go through. Currently, 71.4% of people who watch our Web3 videos have not subscribed to the channel. So if you've taken away any value from what we're doing, can I ask just one small favor? Hit that subscribe button and join the 29%. Each week we are going to be airdropping a very special and rare third web NFT to 10 subscribers. Let's get started with setting up the Gnosis safe. You can head over to gnosis-safe Io, and on the website, you can click on the open app, the green button in the top right corner. If you haven't set up a safe already, then your screen will not look like this. It will take you straight into the welcome um, screen. But if you have, then you can simply just click over there and you want to click add safe. And then it takes you to the welcome screen, which again, if you haven't set up um, a safe before, this is what you'll see the first time around. So to set up your first safe, you're going to click on create a new safe and you're going to select the network that you want to create it on. For this video, we're going to use the Ethereum Gawley testnet. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click continue. And now I have to give a name for the safe. So let's call it um, my um, first safe and going to click on continue. And you can see that now we get to choose the owners and the number of confirmations, i.e. the number of owners which are required in order to approve a transaction. So the default is at least one. And this is my um, the wallet address that is connected to, um, to the site at the moment. And I can give this a new name. So let's call it first. And let's add another one or two owners. So I'm going to add another one here. And I've already got a few um, addresses copied. So let's paste that into there. Let's call this one the second one. And let's add one more. Let's call it the third one. And let's add this wallet as well. Um, and now that we've got that, we can click on continue. We can now just review the details. So the name, we need at least one of the three owners to approve a transaction. Let's change that. Let's go back and let's make it that you need at least two of the three owners to approve a transaction and then click continue again. And then we've got the three safe owners and we can see all of the addresses over there. Let's click on create and it is going to pop up with a MetaMask transaction. I'm going to um, increase the gas on this. Uh, as much as they will let me um, so that it goes through um, as quickly as possible. And let's click on confirm. And now we have to wait for the safe to be created. It is going through the various stages of um, deploying the, the smart contract, of deploying the safe to the Gawley testnet. Um, and if we click on this over here, we can view um, the Etherscan page for this um, for this transaction. And um, so you can see the transaction um, hash and you can see that it is still pending. So we're going to give it another second um, or another, I don't know, a couple minutes just to go through. Um, it shouldn't take too long um, depending on how congested the network is, um, but it, it can take um, up to a couple minutes as you can see over here for the transaction to process. Okay, and now we can see that safe was created successfully and we can click on the green get started button um, and it is busy loading the safe or the dashboard um, for interacting with our safe. Um, and so that's basically the entire process. We've now set up the safe. You can see it was set up on the Gawley testnet um, and we can continue here. So I've copied the address um, over here, I'm going to go over to MetaMask um, and I can then um, click on the send. I'm going to paste into the address and you can see it says address isn't valid. That's because NosaSafe prefixes all addresses with the network that are uh, that they are on. Um, and then once you remove that, then obviously the um, address is detected because it's now in the right format. Um, and now we can click down here to add the amount that we want to process. Let's just send 0.01 um, Gawley ETH and we're going to click next 
and then we can click on confirm and we can give it a minute or two just to process that transaction as well. And it shouldn't take too long. Let's maybe increase everything. Um, let's go back here and let's just increase the base fee a bunch and click on save and submit. That should speed it up um, quite a bit. Um, and then once that transaction is complete, we'll be able to see the funds reflect in the um, in the safe. Okay, so the transaction went through successfully. You can now see that the balance of the safe has been updated. You can see that I've now got um, at least one token in here um, and we can send or receive um, tokens um, if we wanted to. Let's try send them back to my um, wallet. So let's send them with um, back to the first wallet, which is the one that's been interacting here. We're gonna send the whatever we can, which is the maximum amount. We're gonna click on review um, and we're going to click on submit. So um, it asks for a signature because again, remember we have to have at least two of the three wallets um, sign and approve this, this transaction. So we're gonna click on sign. We're going to have to switch wallets. So we're going to go back here. We're going to click up here and we're going to click on this wallet. We're going to connect this wallet um, and we're going to click on confirm because now we've switched to our second wallet um, and we're going to now confirm it from that second wallet. We're going to click on confirm. This is going to be able to execute the, the transaction once we've signed it. Um, and now we can click on confirm for the transaction itself. And again, I'm just going to increase the gas prices um, so that we our transaction goes through quickly and now we can click save and confirm and now we can let that transaction go through. And um, so the transaction is currently pending, but as you noticed, in order for the transaction to be processed, we had to have the one wallet sign the transaction and then only once the second wallet came in to approve it, could the second wallet actually process the transaction um, and, uh, and, and for the transaction to actually go through. So now that the transaction has been processed, you can see that our balance is back to zero. And if I switch back to the original wallet, wallet and um, you'll be able to see that the the balance has gone back up and um, so that is how you create a gnosis safe if you enjoyed the video please like it and subscribe to the third web youtube channel if you've got any questions or something wasn't clear please post a comment in the in the youtube video um, and also don't forget to join the third web discord discord.gg forward slash third web that's where all the builders are you'll have full access to the third web team and it is the perfect place to ask any questions and to get started on your web 3 journey